John Cale. Welcome in the Filter for Life program. For the people that don't really know much about you, could you start telling us a little bit about your history? When you started, where you started? Uh, you mean where I was born? Yeah, where you were born. And I was born in South Wales, and I went to school in, in Durham in London, and then I went to New York in 63. And I met Lou, and uh, we put, put the rubber and the gun together. Mm -hmm. And uh, around 69, I left the band and went out and worked on my own. And since then, I've been uh, doing some producing. and. You weren't right. into, uh, into playing music when you were still living in England before you went to New York? No, I was classically trained. I was playing as uh, a violist in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in the classical orchestra. Right. And uh, as since then you're not only playing music, but you're also pretty well known as a producer. Who have you been producing? The uh, first one was, uh, was the Stooges. Then there came Nico and... Uh, Modern Lovers, and uh, when I worked at Warner Brothers, I did uh, an album with Jennifer, Jennifer Warren. Then um, there's some more Nico albums and, more, and uh, uh, lately it was uh, Patti Smith. Could you tell us uh, what you're doing right now and what you're going to do in the near future, what the plans are? Well, I'm on tour at the moment with a new band that I put together, and uh, it's, it's a young band. It's, We've been together about a month, mm -hmm. and uh, we're still going through our paces. We're still um, experimenting with with the, with the uh, combination that we have. Then, uh, after I'm through with the European tour, I'll go back and tour America, and then record with the band. Who are in the band? Um, the guitar player is Bob Kulik. The drummer is Joe Stafko, and I have one uh, keyboard a person who does Moog and and, and keyboard. That's uh, Dave Liebold. And uh, the bass player is Mike Vesaglia. Right. We're going to see you uh, now only on the piano with your guitar player, right? Right. Okay. Let's see. John, your music is, um, in many points, very emotional. At least that's how I experience it. Is music your main way of expressing your emotions? Um, no, I think it's a combination of both words and music. And so, sometimes the songs happen simultaneously, though the words and the music come together. And sometimes I start with the words and, and put the music to it, but I mean, the, the the strongest ones are usually the ones that, are, that, that happen simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, if we listen to your songs, first of all, a song like Fear comes over really powerful. As far as we can judge, you put in all your emotion. Could you maybe tell us something about that song, Fear, where it came from? No, it's just a, ca a, a catchy phrase instead of... Usually they, they say a dog is a man's best friend. It's an English phrase, so I just put fear is a man's best friend. I mean, sometimes it's often better to uh, do unto others before they do unto you. It's it's a, it's a it's a paranoia that that um, I think it's, it's kind of popular. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know about it being fashionable, but I think it's popular. Mm 